I'm Kyle. Woo! And I'm Tris. And we're the Wine Geeks. This is fun. Tasting. Sweet. And eating. This has got to be the perfect woman. Our way across the globe. Dedicating our lives. And palates. Oh, to breaking down the world of fine wine. Cheers. Making it a little less intimidating place for all of us. <laughs> One gigs, never heard of them. Hey, Michelle. <laughs>On our way to Palmerall from Bordeaux, we stopped off to pick up some things for lunch at Liborne's famous farmer's market. Proprietor Catherine Perret Verger made her money in the glass and tableware business, but her heart has always been amongst the vines, having owned several chateaus in Bordeaux since the mid-80s. I don't know what your idea is of a Bordeaux estate, a grand chateau with huge vineyards behind it, but in Palmerol it's a bit different. In Palmerol they tend to parcel out their vineyards. It's a little bit like the Burgundy region. Right now we're walking past one of the main parcels that go into making La Violette, one of the greatest wines in Palmerol. In fact, the matter is, we've already traversed about 12 of the 15 rows that go into making this spectacular wine. Five, four, three, two, one. No. La Violette is Catherine's best piece of real estate. The vineyard's unique blue clay soils producing the finest Cabernet Franc and Merlot grapes in Palmerol. They work so hard the entire year for this moment. One of the quality factors here at La Violette is the blue clay. I think probably many people in Palmerol uh, wish they had. The dirt is blue. Blue clay is the bomb. This is go time. They're very, very picky about what they're going to take and what they're not going to take, so let's see if I do a good job. The wine made from these grapes will sell for something around, you know, $200 a bottle. The ones up top, they'll make the cut. These are a second crop. They were uh, ripened later. You can taste the bitterness in the fruit. At La Violette, every grape has to be absolutely perfect. See? That's bad. And you, you're bad. Porter! See this right here? Even though it's blistered, it could be okay. That doesn't make it. This is what we need to pick. I feel very privileged actually to pick the old line of the Alette. Au revoir. The best terroir in Pomol. Terroir is a French term that encapsulates all the unique characteristics of a particular vineyard. The wind, soil, exposure, grapes, you name it. There's more to fine wine than the dirt it's growing in. Uh, Catherine said there's only you know, 12 kilos per container because she doesn't want to crush any of the fruit. Looking at these vines here, what is the yield per hectare? Here, 25 hectoliters per hectare. Per hectare. Our failings with the metric system aside, us Americans only have to remember that 25 hectoliters per hectare equals about 1,300 bottles of wine per acre, which isn't a whole lot. Not enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>